Good morning. Michael Mazarang here again. And today I'm on a commercial job site uh, for foundation underpinning. And this job um, was started by another company and it is a commercial job site. Um, no permit was pulled, which is a problem. Uh, any commercial job site uh, requires a permit. And so uh, that uh, I believe is being corrected in the background uh, as we speak. But another interesting part of this job, um, you know, foundation repair requires, you know, a certain expertise. And one of the things is you'll see they opened up all these holes. Uh, there's 15 locations here where we're doing what's called a deep foundation. And we had two inches of rain come in over the weekend. Why would you want to open 15 holes up on a commercial job? And now each one of these holes has water in it. Water's getting up under the foundation. Why is there no plastic over these dirt piles? Why was no plywood put down over these holes? Uh, and now this is a mucky mess. So you don't want to have water go up underneath a foundation. Um, obviously, you know, this company that started the work was just chasing checks. They wanted to get done with the job as fast as possible, opened up multiple holes when you got a rainstorm coming in. And there's the bracket. Uh, wow. It, it, to follow proper foundation repair procedure, the bracket needs to be up underneath the building itself. Uh, the footing isn't chipped properly here. This one, I mean, the bracket's two feet out from the building. They didn't even touch the concrete. This is totally unacceptable. The engineer will never clear this work. The foundation needs to be chipped back so that the bracket's up underneath the building. So this is, not only do we have a mess here, but these helical piers are improperly installed. Inadequate installation angle, brackets crooked, and the, the, the foundation isn't even faced properly. So, uh, you know, this is, foundation repair is kind of a complex, complex kind of repair. And there's a lot of people in the business now that do it. Uh, you've got a lot of the waterproofing companies that are doing foundation repair and, uh, you know, corporately driven, you know, these, this crew was sent out here with the, with the sole purpose of getting through the job quickly. The permit wasn't pulled. We've, we've got steps that were skipped in the installation. We've got water in the holes on a commercial job site. So yeah, this is something that you really need to be aware of if you're contractor, homeowner, uh, property management company. Just because the company can get out here fast doesn't mean they're a properly trained and licensed uh, foundation repair contractor or certified foundation repair contractor. Uh, do your research. Make sure the company is recommended by the engineer and make sure, of course, that they're pulling permits like they're supposed to and that you're having proper project oversight.